Alright, alright. What's going on? What's going on, people? How's everybody doing this morning? Alright. Okay, let's get right into it, man. Thank you for viewing. I appreciate it. Alright, on this Sunday, you know what I'm saying, in June. It's a wonderful day outside, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's what's up, y'all. Well, it's about to be launched, y'all. I am excited about it, y'all. It's about to be launched, you know, uh, Blazer for Christ Ministries, you know what I mean, here in New York City. And um, I'm very excited about it. And uh, you see everything, you know, all everything's set up. The Twitter accounts, it's on Twitter, Facebook, uh, let's see, Instagrams, and also Periscope. So, you know what I mean, um, you know, Christ is setting things up, you know what I mean, for my ministry to go forth. So, um, like I said, right now, like I've been saying on social media, I don't know when it's going to start, okay, but Christ is preparing me for the start. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm not saying it's not, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit up here in this video and say, well, I'm just setting all these things up just to be setting it up. No, not at all, not at all. It's just Christ is preparing me, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if you remember, but I got a word back in March, late March. I think it, I want to say it's Amos chapter 9 verse 13. And it was saying something like, you know, uh, be prepared or something like that. I don't remember what the scripture actually said. I do, I did get this out of it though, that... You know, everything's going to happen so fast that you're not going to be able to keep up. That's what I got out of that scripture. And man, I see it. I mean, I see it happening. That's why I'm preparing for everything now so everything doesn't catch everybody and catch me off guard. You know, because I need to get prepared for this, folks. I need to get prepared for this ministry and um, a holy hip-hop church. Okay, for those of you who are looking at this for the first time, it's a holy hip-hop church in New York City. And the vision is one church, two locations possible for expansion all right one church two locations right now possible for expansion okay and the ultimate vision is it's going to be a dome yes a big dome right in queens it's going to be a dome in brooklyn and then you know what i'm saying wherever the next location is going to be that's where we're going to have a dome there as well you understand what i'm saying and the and the vision is you know the, the session is going to start on saturday nights Tuesday nights and Saturday nights, 7 p.m., you know what I mean? So, um, the starting point will be Queens Bridge, you get what I'm saying, Queens Bridge. And, um, like I said on social media, I'm almost certain that my first Periscope video is going to be sharing the uh, location of where Blades of Christ Ministries, I'm going to be launching it at, you know, just to give you all a video of where it's going to be and that type of thing and, you know, what Christ has shared with me, you know, that type of thing, you know, get you all into, you know, Hey, you know, Christ, uh, new creatures get ready to start this ministry, you know. Now, again, I want to make sure that everything is right, and you know, because I don't want to move in front of God. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to move in front of Christ and, you know, I end up doing it and then Christ would be like, I never told you to do that. And see, now I got I to I press the reset button and go back. You understand what I'm saying? So, in order, I got I to gotta continue to stay focused, listen to the Spirit of Christ, stay in prayer, obviously, stay in the presence of Christ, and, uh, um, and you know, that type of thing, so we can get this thing started, man, I want this thing to be good, I want this thing to be right, man, and I'm not in competition with anybody's church in New York City, please know that, okay, I'm not in competition with anybody, alright, I'm just doing my purpose, alright, in Christ, that's all I'm doing, you know, uh, Christ told me I was going to do this pastoring thing, man, that pastoring word came into my heart, like, I don't know, 2000, maybe November of 2000, something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, that's, that's how that came about folks. And, uh, I was in the hospital and then I came home from the hospital and then I, I went to church that particular day and, uh, the driver, um, that was driving, uh, at, you know, down there is called Metro Access, you know, a door-to-door -door service thing. So <clears throat> what happened was he was asking me all these questions and I'm like, and then he's like, what are you praying for? And I'm like, I'm getting frustrated with the guy. And uh, he's like, well, did you pray for your wife yet? I said, yeah, well, you know, I'm praying, you know, that she's, and then he was like, well, is your, is the wife that you're praying for first lady material? And at that time, I'm like, what are you asking me for this? Why are you asking me these questions for? You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. He said, you are going to be a pastor, right? And I got frustrated some more. 
I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to be pastor. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's like I'm fighting it off, right? So he was like, well, that's what you're going to be. You're going to be a pastor, right? That's what you, you know, you're praying and all that. You, you're praying. And then when he, when the phone rang, he answered the phone, you know, he on the cell phone. That's when the Holy Spirit laid upon my heart. You're going to be a pastor. I got in the church that I was all messed up. I was in tears. Oh, my God. I didn't even understand what the pastor was saying that day. That's how messed up I was. But now, here it is, 15 years later, folks. I can do this. I can do it. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be fun. You know? I thought I had to do the pastoring thing the way they was doing it. Oh, you know the Lord. I, you know what I'm saying? I thought I had to do all that. Nope. Don't got to do that. It's going to be a holy hip-hop ministry, folks. Is This thing's going to be exciting, man. I'm excited about this thing, folks. Man, I'm... So, man, uh, follow on Periscope, man. Um, at Triple H Dome. That's what it is, the Triple H Dome, man. That's that's what that's the Holy Hip Hop Dome for short. That's why I, I uh, 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 put the Twitter account as at Triple H Dome. So T R I P T R I P L E H D O M E. Okay, it's gonna be the Triple H Dome, baby. Yeah, New York City, get ready, man. All right, it's about to be on and popping, man. That's what's up. And uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be awesome, man. We're gonna have concerts in that joint. You know what I mean? And uh. You know, we're going to have this thing on Friday nights. You know what I'm saying? I might as well go ahead and put it out there. Friday night freestyles. You know what I'm saying? We've got freestyles. You know what I'm saying? So people can come in and represent Christ on the mic, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're going to have a live broadcast, obviously, of my sessions on Saturday night. If you're good Friday night, we may bring you on Saturday night. And you could bless the people with your with your lyricism. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, it's going to be awesome, man. So, uh, yeah, man, get ready for this, man. It's, it's going to be awesome, man. Um, Follow New Creature Speaks as well on Periscope, man. At New Creature Speak, okay? Um, I might be doing a video, uh, tomorrow on that, actually. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, look, the launch is getting ready, man. I'm, I'm getting prepared for this thing. Christ is preparing me for this. And, um, man, get excited, man. This is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to the launch. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be viewing, probably sharing a video of where I'm going to be starting, uh, Blaze of Christ Ministries at as a launch, launching pad. You understand what I'm saying? You know, we are here, that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, the ultimate vision is, is the dome, though. You know, we're going to have the Triple H dome going on. It's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Holy Hip Hop Nation? And this church is dedicated. And I'm, I'm, I'm this, that, this church is specifically, you know, for those who have an ear for Holy Hip Hop, man. Okay? Not just for the youngins. Okay? This is for everybody who got an ear for Holy Hip Hop. That's what's up, y'all. It needs it. New York City, I've asked some people in New York City, you know, you know, about Christ, and it was like, well, you know, church is not for me. Well, it's not for them because, you know, a holy hip-hop is not in these churches. You understand? You can't just have it once a week. You can't just have it on one Sunday out of a, out of a month. You know what I'm saying? That's how. That's probably how some pastors are led by the Spirit of Christ to do it. Well, my church, folks, is going to be all holy hip-hop, man. That's it. All holy hip-hop. DJing, MCing, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, hey, you got the 411 on that, all right? I'm the creature, and I'll see you all in the next video, all right? See you when I see you. And look, all the information is down the, in the bottom of the description, okay, for you to look at, all right? That's what's up, y'all. So uh, follow on all those um, in the description, all those platforms and stuff like that. And, uh, man, as we look forward... Keep, continue to keep me in prayer, folks. I'm filled with spiritual wisdom, understanding, and make right decisions daily, okay? For the ministry's sake, okay? That's what's up, y'all. Well, I'm the creature, and I'll see you all in the next video, all right? And uh, see you when I see you. Later.